Chef Buck here and today we're going to cook up one of my favorite ingredients, spaghetti squash. Lots of recipes that you can make with spaghetti squash and today we're going to do a twice baked spaghetti squash. So the first thing we have to do is bake it the first time, which is super simple. Now this is a dinky do spaghetti squash and we've had this sitting around the house for two weeks now just out here on the counter and it's still in pretty good shape. When you buy a spaghetti squash, you're gonna to wanna to get one that's firm and you want it to be heavy for its size. And this one, even though it's been sitting around for a while, it's still pretty hefty, so it's not dried out. Now, prior to uh, cutting your spaghetti squash, you're going to want to join a gym, get your biceps nice and large like you can only imagine is happening underneath this baggy shirt. We're gonna cut our spaghetti squash right through the middle, right here. We used to do it long ways. Either which way will work, but if you cut it this way, you'll be able to get longer strands of spaghetti-like squash out of here. Wow. Usually it's a lot harder to do that than that, but I've just been, I've been thinking about going to the gym so much. Now the inside of this squash has seeds. We're gonna go ahead and dig those seeds out right now. We could dig them out after we bake the squash, uh, but then we might waste some of the squash. So we're gonna do it right now. Bloop. See the inside of there? It's just got some pumpkin-like seeds. We'll just scrape them out. And it'll scrape out easily. And once you get the seeds out, that's all you have to worry about. You know, you don't wanna scrape it overly much because you don't wanna waste your squash. So you just wanna hollow it out like that. And that's all that we have to do to prepare our squash for baking. So I got a little pan of water right here and I just got about a quarter of an inch of water on the bottom. And I'm just gonna take my squash and put it whole side down, you know, cause you want your squash to sit in this pan and look like a, 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 a couple of mountains, like a couple of pastoral hills in the distance. All right, I come around here, camera girl. And you can see we've already got our oven preheated at 350 degrees. We'll just slide our squash in here and we're gonna let it bake away for about 30 minutes. Beep, 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 beep. Alrighty, so it's been a half an hour. Let's get our spaghetti squash out of the oven. You wanna be very careful when it first comes out of the oven because there'll be steam trapped underneath. Let's go ahead and get it out of our pan of water. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave my spaghetti squash alone, let it cool down. So it'll be easier to handle in a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the ingredients ready for this dish. I've already started. I've cut up some sun-dried tomato into some thin strings, uh, some thin slices of jalapeno and garlic. And I'm also gonna cut up an entire onion into some thin strings. You know, we're gonna keep a thin aesthetic for this dish, sort of to model our future selves. So I'm just gonna cut it in half, and then I'm gonna slice them super duper thin pieces of onion. And the thinner the better because I'm going to toss this with the spaghetti squash. So we'll just break our onion apart into this bowl. As you can see I can already kind of hold the spaghetti squash but it's still whew, a little hot to handle so I'm going to give it about five more minutes before I unsquash it. Beep, 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 beep. It's still warm but very easy to handle. So I'm just going to take a fork and dig it into my squash and give it a little twist. And you can see the strands start to pull right apart. And I can just dig them out. And they are very spaghetti-like. And we can use all of the flesh inside the squash here. So look at all these nice longest strings I've gotten out of here. And there's still plenty in here, but it's getting hard to get out with a fork. So now I'm gonna get a spoon and scrape the rest out of here. And it'll still come off in strings, but it's much easier to get it out in strings with a fork but I want to make sure not waste any of this. So I'm going to use the spoon and scrape the sides. And look how nice and stringy that is. And I cooked this for a half hour and it's done. I mean, it's cooked. It's not overcooked though. You could still use a little bit of cooking, but that's okay. Cause this is a twice baked squash recipe. The thing is you don't want to overcook your squash, especially initially when you bake it because you don't want it to be mushy, end up being mushy in whatever recipe you're going to make. And this is just one half of the squash. And that's all I'm gonna use for this recipe. And the other half of this squash, I'll just use in a different squash recipe. But I'm gonna go ahead and dig the squash out of this, this half to use for a later recipe. And this isn't even an overly large squash. 
So you can see how much squash you can get out of here for squash dishes. So I got my squash strings, I got my sliced up onions, and I'm just gonna throw a little bit of olive oil in here. We'll get our onions coated in oil. We'll add in our other ingredients. Get all of that coated. Throw in our spaghetti squash. Kind of pull it apart. Get all these ingredients mixed up and oiled up. You know, it's like we're sending them on a fancy Club Med vacation. And those sun-dried tomatoes and these peppers and that garlic and onion, I mean, that is a lot of great natural flavor in there. So we're not gonna use a lot of seasoning. I'm just throwing a little paprika and a little bit of salt. And that's it, that's gonna be plenty. So I'm getting all of that seasoning mixed in here. And you could use a spoon to mix this up. You know, you could use tongs, whatever you like. It doesn't have to be this hands-on. I mean, for me, this is, I guess this is fun. And I'm just gonna bake this in an eight by eight dish. I don't need a super duper large dish for this. And I'm not greasing the dish or anything because there's plenty of oil in this recipe. So we got everything spread out looking nice and butamous. Now I'm just gonna throw it in the oven. But I'm not gonna cover it up because uh, these uh, ingredients are gonna release a lot of moisture. And I don't wanna trap that moisture in this dish. Still got my oven at 350 degrees. I'm gonna slide it in here. And I'm gonna let it roast away for 30 more minutes. Beep, 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 beep. So it's been one half an hour. It's been baking away. You can hear it buzzing, bubbling. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of Parmesan cheese. You can use whatever kind of cheese you like, but Parmesan is a great choice. And this is optional. You could just let it cook away a little bit longer uh, without cheese if you like. But cheese isn't, it's not that bad a decision ever. I'll go ahead and slide it back into the oven, still uncovered. And we'll let it cook away a little bit longer. Beep, 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 beep. Alrighty, so I've had it going for another 10 minutes. And that's it. I don't know, let me put it up to my mic. Can you hear that? So it's bubbling away. Now we're just gonna leave it alone. It's super duper hot. And that was just half of this spaghetti squash. So we've got plenty of squash left over uh, for another recipe. I don't think I've given it enough time to cool down, but I'm gonna go ahead and risk it for our taste test. See, we don't have a lot of liquid in here at all because it's cooked off, which is why you wanna bake it uncovered. Man, those sun-dried tomatoes. There's just so much flavor in here without adding a lot of seasoning, just with these natural flavors. I give this twice baked spaghetti squash recipe a try. Go over to myfoodchannel.com and check out all our recipes over there. Uh, thanks for watching and giving it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next weekend. Bye-bye.